in Tabini. We have indicated that where we believe the government now is going on will correct it. We have said that all those roads that they are flaunting would improve on them. We will complete those roads because I know that we are the ones that are going to complete them. We will build our own roads. We will generate employment for our people. We will target the farmers. And like I have said before, we will ensure that our farmers, who are genuine farmers, are given the comfort they need in that business of farming. The first thing to do is to identify them and ask for their areas of uh, skill. If you are developing 50 hectares, we will task you, assuming you have to take 500 hectares, what will you need? Probably land hectares, land clearing, equipment, and then some assistance. If that is done and they are able to live by faith with what they said they would do, it will provide food security for our people. I'm not happy as a, as a Middle State person that all the tomatoes we eat here, the rice that we buy, are all not from Middle State. They are from the North from KB, for instance. There is nothing stopping us from encouraging our genuine farmers who are cultivating rice to triple their cultivation, to increase the tonnage of their output, and we give them all the encouragement that they need. Now, all this we have told our people, and we have said to them that we're in the business of governance for the welfare of the people. Our belief is that they will buy into what we have said, and they have already bought into it, and we've touched the lives of our people by telling them what is desirable for them and what is important for us to do. Now, having said that, it is now an opportunity for state people to, 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 to make up their mind whether they want the suffering that is prevalent now to continue or they want a new lease of life. The PDP presents an opportunity of a new lease of life. And our people are intelligent enough to know that the time for a positive change has come. That is the key that we hold, and that is why we believe that the people will vote for us. And we're succeeding. You ask me why. It is because those on the other side are already threatening violence. The former chairman went out and was talking about how they will tear posters, how they will unleash violence on the people, how they will bring federal might. For God's sake, if you know you are popular, why do you need a federal might? All we're asking for is a level playing ground. Let the elections be free and fair. And by God's grace, PDP will emerge victorious. And we've done it before. In the presidential election, we came with the highest number of votes. We have two senators, we have our separate members. We can replay it. And I, I encourage our people in you know, that they should not be afraid. We will get there. We we'll learn from the lessons of Kogi election. But I would also rather want to look at what happened in the your state election. Who will win? That's all I will tell you. I have said this before. These are part of infrastructural development. We have a lot of equipment and machineries in our agencies and also in the Ministry of Works. I believe that we have enough personnel also to assist the government in this. Now, it is important for us to realize that the urban roads are yearning for reconstruction or rehabilitation. Same for the rural roads. Rural roads are important because you want to bring in the food items from the farm and bring them to the cities. Urban roads are important because they are also good for our infrastructure. To, 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 to work on the rural roads is not so difficult. All you need are the bulldozers, the D7, the D8, and the graders, and also the forklifts. And I believe we have some of them here in the midst. Line I do. The first thing to do is to repair these machines. Get our engineers who go to work every day doing nothing on their desk. Take them from their idle sphere and zone the state into quarters and put these engineers in charge of every quarters as road managers. And make them want to lead Nigeria. Yes, we're back. And uh, that was the Itai Ojogede, the PDP governorship candidate for Wundo State. Now, interesting is the fact that this is going to be a battle between lawyers because the sitting